is Stacy Higginbotham with GigaOM, and I'm here with Kelly Davis Fellner, the marketing director of the Wi Fi Alliance. And we're here to talk about a bunch of different ways you can use Wi Fi in your home, on the go, and even without a broadband connection. Hi, Kelly. Hi, how are you? Great. So we're sitting here with a HP Touch Smart, and you're going to talk about how we're going to send content to our flat screen TV. Absolutely. So the TouchSmart is a great example of how the family computer has become much more than a computer and really the heartbeat or the, the core of a home entertainment network. Um, so this is a, a super cool device. It's got this nice touchscreen technology. and You'll see that what we've got stored here, we've got music, we've got photos, uh, notes, calendars, and video. Um, in addition to all the usual stuff that you're accustomed to seeing on a computer like email and web surfing and word processing and so forth. So if I just open up a photograph here, we have a great photo of my daughter. Um, and, and what the, the TouchSmart can do is, with the Wi-Fi connection that's enabled, we can very easily uh, print a photograph. So I'm just going to click on this and send a photo to a Wi-Fi enabled printer that is in a completely different part of the house over the Wi-Fi network. And it will get to work printing this photograph. And we'll show you in a few minutes how we can also send this photograph and display it uh, in another room on a flat screen television. We also have in here, in our little library, a bunch of music that we could then select. And imagine this is sort of your virtual jukebox that you could then send this music anywhere in the house. Uh, play it on your stereo, play it on a Wi-Fi enabled television or media player, uh, such as a Zune or, or an iPod Touch. And then we also have and is all this equipment Wi-Fi, is this .n, is this .g, where are we? So uh, a little bit of both. Uh, this particular product is 802.11n. Um, we'll show you some other products that still support older Wi-Fi 802.11g. But what you really want to remember is 802.11n is what delivers the performance for this very rich content. So if you're moving video around or playing a video game or doing things like that, 802.11n is really going to deliver the goods. It's got terrific throughput, it's like up to about five times as fast as older Wi-Fi, and it can absolutely cover uh, an entire home with a really, really strong Wi-Fi signal. So, And how does that compare with other home networking technologies? I'm thinking wireless ones like ultra-wideband or wireless HD. So other wireless technologies vary both in terms of their throughput and also in terms of their range. Um, you hear a lot about technologies like Wireless HD and uh, UWB, and those are in-room technologies. So they might help you get a, a video, a video uh, stream across a room or from a device to a device. What they can't do is help you get it across the house, and that's where Wi-Fi really can deliver the goods. Um, again, you know, the range for with the 802.11n is, is equivalent to about two football fields. And, so, and Wi-Fi does a really good job of uh, particularly with 802.11n, it does a really good job of getting around walls and through walls and, and barriers and things like that as well. So it's, ve it's very different from those other technologies in that respect. Okay, great. Do, you wanna go, do we want to go see where the picture printed or do we want to deliver something to our TV? Yeah, let's do both of those things. Um, let's go see the picture and then I'll, we'll play a vintage HD movie for you on our TV. Awesome. Hi, this is Stacy Higginbotham with GigaOM and we're here with Kelly from the Wi-Fi Alliance talking about how we're delivering a movie from our HP TouchSmart PC all the way across the living room to a flat screen television via the Xbox. Hey Kelly. Hi. So many of you will know the Xbox and love the Xbox as a gaming device. Uh, and in fact it certainly is a very good gaming device but is also much much more. In this case uh, we're using it as a media extender and it's using our super fast 802.11n Wi-Fi network to grab content from a central library uh, on our PC and deliver that content here to this television. Uh, in this case, we happen to have the PC here in the room, but that PC could be all the way across the house with the range that we have with a Wi-Fi network. So what we're going to show here for you is a quick little uh, HD video clip that we're getting from, from that library here to our television. And so this is a really fun way you can have all of your movies and content centrally stored. Um, and in addition, you can also have things like this video, which we'll show you, which is going to look a little bit more homemade. This is a home video, and this is a great way to be able to share this content. Um, 
this is this is a, a real a real step beyond kind of what we all used to do as kids when we you know mom and dad would get out the giant screen and either the slide projector or the uh, super eight projector and and show us home movies that way is certainly much easier and, and much much more convenient and uh, really brings the fun of home video uh, alive uh, in a very easy form factor. And can we bring content in from just the web? So absolutely. So both uh, the PlayStation Three and the Xbox, which we have connected to this TV today, can go out to uh, the web and download content uh, for free or or by paid. Um, you know, for pay, uh, and, and that can be movies or television or, um, you know, games or add-ons to games, all kinds of things, and then, and then bring that into the home, leveraging an internet connection and a Wi-Fi network. Okay, awesome. And what about competing technologies such as WHDI, which is Amazon's whole in-room wireless video kind of network? So a lot, of, a lot of other technologies are starting to enter this space as well. Um, those are all very new technologies and we're not sure which are going to have traction yet. Um, what you really want to keep in mind is that Wi-Fi is a technology that can deliver a really nice signal throughout home. Uh, most of the other technologies that are kind of playing in this space right now, like the one you mentioned from Amazon, uh, really deliver more of an in-room solution. So Wi-Fi is going to be the technology that's going to knit all these things together. Everything from computing, to your camera, to your television, to your audio, to gaming. It really is the one technology that can deliver it all. Okay, and how exactly does it knit things together? That's one of the confusing things when I'm talking to people and envisioning my camcorder with, you know, a 60 gigahertz chip and doing wireless HD to my TV. Where does Wi-Fi fit in in that picture? Sure, so um, the answer is, is it varies and it depends. Um, and I think uh, we're still gonna see. But Wi-Fi is a technology, you know, it's got a huge installed base, people love it, and they're already using it to manage the distribution of entertainment content throughout the house, as we've demonstrated for you today. So it's gonna be a very common thread to kind of bring everything together into a single system. And then you may have uh, kind of point-to-point -point networks built around a 60 gigahertz solution or around Amamon, or even around certain wired solutions like Mocha, but they will be very, very, very specific to a single application. Uh, something like delivering video from that camera to that television, for example. Okay, awesome, thank you very much. Thank you.